What is up everybody? This is Moritz here from Sections to once again and today we are we going to have a look at this media collection grid right here. It's super easy to install and you can customize it to your likings and if I click on one of those things right here it's directly gonna link us to the link we attached it to. In this case there's none yet but we're gonna do that in a second and a lot of other things as well. I'll show you how you can fully customize this one to your likings and then we're going to get right right into it I'd say. Okay, the first thing I did for that is that I headed on over to the Shopify app store where I did get the section store app completely for free. It's a component library, Shopify exclusive with over 200 fully customizable components. And even after installing one of the sections, you can still deinstall the app and remain with the section itself. So that is one nice benefit of it. So it's not gonna slow your store down in any way or whatsoever. That is the media grid you saw in the beginning of the video comes with a one-time charge of $9, means if you bought it once, you will also own it forever. So no hidden subscription fees or whatsoever. And you can customize it to your likings. You're not gonna need an expensive developer. So I think $9 are a pretty good deal at the end of the day. Okay, let's head back to the My Sections area of the app. Well, we have to do one final little thing before we can actually use it. And that is to actually add it to the theme you're using. In my case, it is the Dawn Light theme. And then simply just open up theme editor of your choice right here. It does work on every theme though. I've already opened it up right here. That is the one you saw in the beginning of the video. And I wanna show you right here how those blocks work. So if I would click on this one right here, we could see how much space it's actually taking up. So if I wanted to take up the whole row, that is something that is possible as well. And the other one is just getting wrapped in the next area. We could change the picture right here as well. So we're just gonna select a different one from the library. Let's just go with this one because we say we like this one more. And here we can pick the collection. Just gonna go with backpacks, really random. And you can also decide if you wanna see the actual collection or if you wanna see the picture. So here you could decide if you actually wanna see that or not. So if I would remove that collection, it's simply gonna go back to that picture. Okay, with that being done, we just can go all the way down to the button text where we can link the collection as well. So here we can do backpacks as well. And like that, the image is not gonna get changed. So that is something nice. And inside the item, you can also change a lot of preferences of that little button right here. So if I would pick that, the background color would change, but I think it looks pretty nice the way it is already. And yeah, a few last things I would like to show you so you can customize the whole block itself with a few things. We can change the headline positioning, the grid column gaps. So if we put it to two, let's just change the layout real quick. So if we do four, we can see that. And that is the one which does more well as well. So if I would set it to one, it would be like that, which does look nicer in this case, I think. And yeah, a bunch of other things we can change. I think you can just spend a little bit of time and explore all the things, but we pretty much made it possible that everything inside the section is changeable. And if we scroll all the way down, we can also see that you can change the headline color. So it's gonna go to that. And all the other colors, which you can see in the block right here are changeable too. So yeah, that pretty much brings us to the end already. Let's save it all up and have a final look at it in the theme editor. And that is looking good. And I also want to see the live version and not just the theme editor. And I'll scroll down a little bit. And yeah, that is pretty much that. Let's see if the link is working as well. We put it to backpacks. That means it's all working fine. And if we scroll all the way down, we can see it is working perfectly good. It looks fine as well. And with that being done, brings us to the end of this video. Hope you guys liked it. And if you did, always feel free to leave a like and a follow.